What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most popular and what's become hard to find turbos in the industry, the Borg Warner 171702. Stay tuned. Hey Steven, what's the most popular small frame turbo? 171702, everyone knows that. guys so what makes this turbo so lovable well let's do a quick history lesson here so this is the Borg Warner 171702 uh, also referred to as an S400 or an S475 more on why it's both of those the terminologies in a bit uh, but originally this turbo was made as an upgrade for the Detroit 12.7 liter series 60 engines so Borg Warner makes a part number 171701 which is this same turbo, but with a 71 millimeter inducer compressor wheel. Borg Warner decided to have a little bit of an upgrade by going with the 75 millimeter compressor wheel. And from there, it's history. This turbo has really become a very popular turbo for a lot of different applications. All right, so let's break down why it has so many different names. So S400 refers to the frame size of the turbo. This is an S400. There's all different kinds of S400 turbos. Um, this one specifically can also be called an S475 because it's an S400 with a 75 millimeter inducer. And inducer refers to the front of the compressor wheel, so the smaller end. If you look at a compressor wheel, it's kind of like triangular or cone shape. The inducer is the smaller end that you can see here in the inlet side. And the overall wheel size is the back side of the wheel, uh, which is larger. This one's 100 millimeters. So an S475 is an S400 but not every S400 is an S475. Just as a 171702 is a specific kind of S475, um, there's other S475s that might have a different turbine wheel that would then make them another different part number, whereas this one here is a 96 millimeter turbine wheel. Uh, the 171702 guys is really like the turbo. Uh, guys use them in LS swaps, they use them on Detroits, they use them on ISXs, you can use them on a low horsepower Caterpillar, um, a lot of different conversions that guys are doing with commercial trucks, they're using the 171702. I mean, basically, there is not an application out there that's not using the 171702 in some degree. Um, the S400 in general, this platform has really grown where there's all kinds of aftermarket companies, uh, us included, that uses the S400 base to build their own turbo off of. So one thing that you're probably wondering is why this turbo? Why is it that this turbo became so popular? Well, before all the COVID pricing and that nonsense happened, this turbo was super cheap and affordable. You could pick these things up online, genuine Borg Warner for six, 700 bucks, which was a great deal for a turbocharger. And it's a T6 flange and a V-band outlet, which made it very universal to adapt it to any kind of application that you really wanted to run with it. The 96 by 88 millimeter turbine wheel uh, really flowed well and like I said worked across a lot of applications and the 75 millimeter wheel same thing I mean it was just one of those things this was the perfect storm I don't really think Borg Warner intended for this thing to be such a hit but it really became this you know the go-to turbo a box Borg Warner turbo 17 17 02. the problem has since become that ever since you know COVID hit and we've had shortages this turbo which used to be cheap and abundant you could get it at any Borg Warner dealer it's now become extremely scarce. They're really hard to get a hold of. And because of that, the prices have gone through the roof as well. Uh, fortunately, as of right now, we just got two pallets of these. That's why I wanted to shoot this video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. So I'm glad that we finally get a chance to do it. All right, guys, what I have here are the internals from a Borg Warner 171702, uh, often called a rotor group, which would be your compressor wheel and your turbine shaft and wheel together. I also have the bearings here. Uh, so the 171702, it's a cast compressor wheel. It's a seven plus seven design, which means it's seven full blades and seven half blades. The turbine wheel is a 96 by 88 millimeter, 11 blade turbine wheel. Um, and this is 75 millimeter inducer by 100. 75 is how we come up with S475 because it's an S400 with a 75 millimeter inducer. 
Uh, these do come as journal bearing turbos. They're not ball bearing. The majority of the SX series, basically all of it is all ball bearing. I'm sorry, journal bearing. Um, journal bearings would ride here on the shaft. And obviously guys, this shaft and we'll have some damage. Um, this shaft here is from a failed turbo. You can see the bluing here from poor lubrication. Um, and this wheel here, you can see there's rubbing on the housing, which also might've been from, you know, poor lubrication It knocked out the bearings and then the wheel started to rub the housing, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so the 171702 is a journal bearing turbo. Uh, what we have here is the thrust bearing. And while a lot of Borgwarner SX products have a 360 degree thrust bearing, the 171702 has a 270 degree thrust bearing. And what that means is it goes 270 degrees around. It doesn't make a complete 360. Now you see a lot of companies, um, you know, a lot of aftermarket companies that make S400 based turbos or they take a 171702 and they upgrade it. They might put a 360 degree thrust bearing which would complete this circuit to give you a little bit more of a robust turbo. Just like they might change the wheels for a billet wheel or a wheel with different blade count. All right, you knew it was coming. I talked about aftermarket companies upgrading 171702s. And here it is. Here's the aftermarket company, i.e. us, and our upgraded 171702, manufactured by Zeki Turbos down in Doral, Florida, America. America. Guys, there's lots of good stuff made outside of America. It's all about quality control, but it is pretty cool to see that these are built in America. But anyway, big difference. Uh, well, like I said, not huge differences, but the big difference is the Borg has the seven plus seven cast compressor wheel, and then our upgraded version has the 11 blade billet compressor wheel. And like I said, all that means is that it's full 11 blade, um, which is, you know, different blade counts and different blade pitcher, which is gonna control higher blade count normally favors higher RPM. Uh, so this is gonna, you know, do a little bit better for you from a performance standpoint, uh, higher flowing wheel. The big difference also is the thrust bearing. So we mentioned that Borg has the 270 degree, 270 degree thrust bearing in the 171702, and we use a 360 degree thrust bearing in our upgrade. So really, when it comes down to it, the 171702 guys, a great turbo. We really owe a lot to it. Um, you know, when Borgwarn put it out, I don't think they thought it was going to be such a success, but she is using all different kinds of applications and, you know, once readily available, but now pretty scarce. But I think things will get back on track and, you know, we'll have more of these around to do more cool projects. So if you have any questions or if you need one, because we got two pallets of them right now, give us a shout. We're going to go do something with this puppy. All right, guys. Take care. Tom, what do you say that we would ship the most of? Turbos. Oh, let me get this. Colin, what's your favorite turbo? What's the most popular number that you ship every day? Zero, 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 zero. Oh my God, no. <laughs> yes, it is.